So um, today we're going to be making a lovely meal of uh, honey garlic pork chops, some garlicky red potatoes, and some sesame ginger broccoli. Uh, it is delicious. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of be weaving things in and out a little bit because we've got three recipes going on today. Uh, we want to try to eat the timing right, so we're going to be kind of going in and out of the three recipes. So just so you know, you guys don't know anyway. You guys don't have the recipes yet. So what we're going to start with is um, gathering all your measuring spoons and measuring cups and some ramekins so that we can start doing the prep work. So I'm going to grab my measuring cups and measuring spoons. Do we already have the oven preheating or no? Oven all right and then we're going to so if you don't um and then we have some ramekins here that we're using these are amazing um so we're going to put that back in the fridge or so i'm going to need all of these we'll see so you got my ramekins spoons if you don't have ramekins you know just make piles like you normally do um so now what you're going to do you are going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees if I had a man, he would be following me. 350 degrees. Okay. It's on its way. All right. And while that is preheating, we are going to take the pork chops and we are going to dry them. So I have some napkins here. I'm going to put mine on. Ooh, that's a pretty short pork right there. Mm-hmm. Nice thick pork chops. That'll work better for this recipe. And these are small, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on these little ones. Okay, let these spread out. Now you wanna dry out. There you go. You want to dry out your pork. The pork? Your pork. Your oh, pork, pork. Box, your pork ham. <laughs> you want to dry those out. And then the reason you do that is for the Maillard reaction. Anybody know what that is? Maillard? Maillard reaction? What is that? That is, um, you dry it out, and what it does is when it cooks, it's going to help bring together the amino acids, it helps reduce the sugars, it helps it to brown. Sweet it helps support you. Stuff. I learned a new word. How do you spell that? Uh, M A I L L A R D. I gotcha. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. So now we're going to just salt and pepper your pork chops. After you've dried them off, or your ham, <laughs> or salt, or pepper. Is that enough pepper? Never enough pepper in my world. Yes. All right. So and then we're going to name of garlic. Take a little bit of garlic, shake that on. Uh, salt and pepper, both sides right now, or just one side? Both sides. Okay. Flip them over. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see me with this in the way. Let me move this over here. All right. Flip these guys over. Okay, so we're doing salt. I, I have ADHD. Salt, <laughs> so. pepper, and a loose garlic. Okay, got it. Both sides. But as Grand Power do, I'm probably adding extra garlic powder. And if you have a cast iron pan like we do, I'm going to go ahead and turn that on and kind of get it warming up because it takes a while to get it warmed up. What kind of pan do you have? I have a cast iron pan. 
Um, is, is the pork ball we're going to cook in that? Yes. Okay, thank you. And then we're going to put it in the oven, Susie. So if you have a cast iron pan, that would be great. If you don't have a cast iron pan, then you just want to get a baking dish and put it in your broiler and get that. And get it. Okay, salt, pepper. I have so many cast iron pans. Little garlic. Stackable all the way to this big. Excuse me? Stackable iron, cast irons all the way to this big. Holy wow. cow, that is nice. I'm a firm believer in cast iron. Oh, well, how big is that? About 14 inches? That's what she said. Um, oh, yeah. That was awesome. Woohoo! Did you take your pork and just set it to the side? And that what? We take our pork and just set it to the side. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do. This is fun. I know. Isn't this cool? Okay. It is. Now you want a little pan. Uh, oven pan. A little baking sheet. Okay. Baking sheet. So what we're going to do next is we're going to toast our sesame seeds. Mm. So you're going to have three tablespoons of sesame seeds and just toss them on the pan. No oil, nothing. Sesame seeds? I thought it said sesame oil. Sesame seeds. We'll get the sesame oil later. Oh, we will? Okay. Yeah. So right now we're just toasting the sesame seeds. How many sesame seeds do you want? Excuse me? How many sesame seeds do you want? Three teaspoons. Three teaspoons? Tablespoons. Tablespoons, okay. All right, there we go. Okay. Oh, I lost you. Are you there? You're there. I'm okay. here. Okay, all right. I'm here. All right, I'm caught up. Here's Miss Susie. Sesame seeds. It's okay. Don't I'll worry just, about it. I'll just use a little extra sesame oil. Okay. <laughs> so now you're going to take the sesame seeds, you're just going to put them in your 350 degree oven. I'm going to set a timer for eight minutes. So when that goes off, now when you're toasted, have you toasted sesame seeds before? Or nuts or anything? You know, when it starts to get that aroma, you gotta pull it out of the oven or it's gonna burn in a hot flash. So we're Don't ever do it after two glasses of wine. <laughs> well, Having a hot flash? <laughs> All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to make our our mise en place. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna um, start making uh, all of our prep. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take about one inch of ginger. This is a pretty big piece of ginger that I've got, so I'm just going to cut it. I'm not going to worry about doing the spoon thing. So you just want to cut the skin off. I like ginger, so I might do a little extra. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that smells good. And now I've got a little grater here. Um, I'm more of a chopper, so I just like chopping it up with a knife. So that's what I will be doing here. Just chop it up, kind of mince it. So forgive me because I don't go to the grocery store hardly ever, so I'm just I am using everything I have at home, so I have to use powdered ginger. Brown ginger, use probably about two teaspoons. Okay. Thank you. All right, so we're mincing that up. All right, and now we're just going to pop that into one of our ramekins. We'll come back to that in a little bit. Nice. Excellent. 
So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to chop up our broccoli. Grab our broccoli. And you can use frozen broccoli for this too. That's fine. And I would imagine that you could uh, substitute any of the vegetables in the broccoli family, like cauliflower or something like that. Oh yeah, definitely. And that would be tasty. Yeah. Hang on. I've got a little container here that I put my, my compostables in. Yeah, we saw the one for them last, last time, didn't we? Yes. Can we just throw our, our broccoli stems on the floor and the dogs eat them? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, re that's recycling as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the dogs, the dogs really like veg vegetables. And so... Um, Broccoli stems especially because they're they're fibrous and they're thick and so it's like a dog bone. Yeah. Oh. My dog won't touch it. Oh yeah. Maximize. Oh that's my yeah. Yeah, if you lick it first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just chop this up, just some big bite-sized pieces. There we go. And then we're just going to toss it in the bowl for right now. Got a big bowl over here. That's my favorite bowl, too. Oh, it's a nice bowl. Okay. And next, we're going to cut some potatoes. I've got about a pound and a half of potatoes. Okay. So we are going to cut those up. And I'm going to put those back in this bowl when I'm done. So we're just going to cube all one inch pieces. Throw them back in the bowl. It's got a little broccoli on it. It's fine. <laughs> Whoa. My sesame seeds are done. I don't know about y'all. Yep. My. My sesame oil is quite much. <laughs> and now we'll take a short break. <laughs> yeah, I'll we'll just keep chopping potatoes for right now. <laughs> oh, you're chopping potatoes now? Chopping potatoes in about one inch pieces. Your pound and a half of potatoes. <laughs> All right, now that you can hear me, and we're going to bring the oven up to 450 degrees now, or 425 degrees now. 425, okay. Right. And finish chopping up our potatoes. And stop for a sip of wine. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Sorry, producer in shot. Sorry. Cheers. Ellen, you've already, you're already ahead of us, huh? Pardon me? You're already ahead of us, huh? Oh, yeah, I chopped everything beforehand. I didn't know I wasn't supposed to. Oh, that's okay. We have to do lots of potatoes because Reed is a potato fan. So okay. if I do, you know, the normal serving of potatoes, then we won't get any. Oh, <laughs> I have the same problem with bacon in my household. Huh? We have the same problem with bacon in our household. <laughs> yeah, we had to start getting start getting it in, in the four pound package so she could have some too. <laughs> too funny. All right, where are you, Susie? You all chopped up? Well, I, I have broccoli and potatoes chopped. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So now we're going to take uh, the lemon, and you're going to cut your lemon in half, and you're going to strain half of it. And do what with half of it? Uh, squeeze it. Make sure you don't have the seeds in there. The sound is still bad, huh? No, oh, it's good. So I squeeze my... Is this a ramekin? 
Yeah, just into something, yeah. And we're gonna get back to that here in a minute. We're still doing our prep work. All right, and then after you have that, now we need one tablespoon of butter. Mm. I'm a little too soft. One tablespoon of butter into a ramekin. The same ramekin. No, 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 a different one. A different one. Timer. All right. And next, we're going to mince our garlic. So we've got six cloves of garlic we're going to mince. I don't think that's yes. garlic. Six cloves. There's no such thing as too much garlic. You don't think it's enough. I, I really don't. <laughs> Sorry. No one will get attacked by vampires tonight. <laughs> All right. Matter of fact, there's a, there's a vampire in Oliver. What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> I do the whole smash and chop. I don't know how you guys mm -hmm. do it. Yep, same. Hi. Thanks. How are you? Well, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. So exciting to hear. Oh, you know, I should put these back in the refrigerator, shouldn't I? Nah. A little bit of food poisoning never hurt anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And survival of the fittest, I always say. Yeah. <laughs> Ricky likes when I cook, and so he licks the floor under my feet. <laughs> I'm sure Max would do that, but he's not allowed in the kitchen. Uh, he knows exactly where the kitchen line is, too, Max does. Oh, that's so cute. He gets right there, he stick his head over. Like that. <laughs> you said chop the garlic, right? Yeah, mince it up real good. Keep your fingers out of the way. Keep that thumb tucked in. Keep those fingers curled under. <laughs> Now, do you, do you guys do your compost in, like, a bin or in, like, a big, um, I don't know. We have that warm bin. And so um, citrus, onion, and lemon, citrus, onion, and garlic. Don't mm. you just don't love it. Everything else goes in warm bin. Okay. So we have a big compost pile by the garden. Um, that we throw leaves and grass and um, the little lemons and the onions. We throw it all in there. Okay. And as a matter of fact, yeah, we just, we have one of those spinning bins. Oh yeah, those are nice. Yeah. I have one of those, but I haven't used it in years. Oh yeah. No, it's not. It, it's it's at, at another place, and I want to go get it because I want to start. We have bears. So. Oh. So wow. They only compost. Well, I've never seen one out here, but there have been. But um, I only compost weeds or plants, you know, ve mm -hmm. uh, vegetable plants, things like that. All right. Once you got that, you just throw that into another ramekin. We're just getting all our mise en bleu done. <laughs> I'm, throwing, I'm throwing words out there today. All yeah. right. I'm throwing words out there today. Yeah, no kidding. You're now all French and whatnot. Now we're going to get our two tablespoons of sesame oil. So we just want to have all this stuff, you know, so that's going to go in a ramekin as well. We just kind of want to have all this stuff ready to go so we don't have to fiddle with it once we start cooking. We can just put the stuff in the pan and get going. All right, and then next. We are going to have uh, one teaspoon of garlic powder. So we're going to divvy this up. So one teaspoon of garlic powder and one ramekin. And then another ramekin, we're going to put one and a half teaspoons of garlic. 
Aha. Okay, so we put that to the side. And make sure you remember which is which, although it doesn't really remember. It's all going down in the same belly anyway, so. <laughs> Two tablespoons of olive oil. Not yet. Do that like this. And we have garlic olive oil. Oh, nice. Garlic it out. This is our olive oil. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so good. Is your your Did olive oil or buy it? Pardon? Did you make the garlic olive oil or did you buy it? Made it. Hey, Made it. Excuse me? A quick commercial. This is a Swedish washcloth or uh, dishcloth. It's not a sponge. I've, I've used this one for almost a year, and you do have bleach them out or whatever, but they are incredible. Where'd you, you get it? On Swedish uh, dishcloths or dish rags. What, whatever you wipe up with, like a, yeah. you know what I'm talking about. Not a towel. Right. These are awesome. You would love them. I promise. If you if you spend the money on them. Okay. Now we're gonna do one and a half tablespoons of olive oil in the second ramekin. I remember which is which. All right. Then we need a quarter of a cup of honey. A quarter of a cup here. I warmed up my honey earlier. Um, let's see if it's still pourable. You guys know you can warm up your honey in the microwave, right? Yeah. If it gets really solid, it, it, it'll liquefy again. Same with brown sugar. You can do that with brown sugar, too. So now we're going to get a quarter of a cup of water. Oh, quarter of a cup of water. Yeah. Okay. Do what, Dan? Quarter of a cup of water, Susie. A quarter of a cup of water. Here. Water. Last time we did this, we made it with a uh, sake. Instead of water. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. Yeah. That was nice. That was very nice. Alrighty. And then we need two tablespoons of the rice vinegar. And then we should be done. What about tamari or soy sauce? Did I miss that? Soy sauce. Uh, two tablespoons of soy sauce. Nope, I skipped over it. Thank you okay. for saying something. Oh, well, no biggie. We actually make our own soy sauce. You no, do? Okay. Yeah, because um, Reed can't have the wheat. Oh. No. And so we, we um, slow cook mushrooms and garlic and, um, and then add molasses and things like, I can't remember everything that we put in it. Um, and it's it's not, I mean, it doesn't taste like soy sauce, but it's pretty darn close. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go ahead with our potatoes. We're going to take your chopped potatoes. We're going to get a baking sheet. Baking sheet. You're going to drop those potatoes on a baking sheet. After you drop those potatoes on a baking sheet. I'm ready. All right, we're going to drizzle with the one and a half tablespoons of olive oil mm. all over the potatoes. Lovely garlicky olive oil. Garlicky olive oil. <laughs> After that, we are going to throw in the one and a half teaspoons or sprinkle that over top of the garlic powder with the one and a half, the one and a half teaspoons. Teaspoons, tablespoons. Go ahead. <laughs> Whatever you got. Who cares, right? Go now we're gonna sprinkle on some pepper. We're gonna sprinkle on some salt. We're gonna take that lemon juice, that half of a lemon that we juiced. Nice. We're gonna drizzle that on top of everything. And now we're going to use our hands and just mix that up real good. 
You can definitely use um, Reynolds wrap. We usually use parchment, but when we have our oven above 400, the parchment just burns. So we're just going with a, a naked baking sheet today. All right, once that's all nice and coated, now you're gonna pop that in the oven. Did you say naked? Oh, we're using a naked baking sheet. A what baking sheet? A naked ba baking sheet. A naked. Naked. Don't have no kind of Between right. naked, naked, naked and naked. Naked and naked. Naked and naked. My ex-husband, I'm from Texas, said that when he hears me do it, when I say naked, I'm getting into the shower. When I said naked, I'm get, about to do something dirty. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right. You got your baking sheet with your toasted sesame seeds? Uh-huh. To that we are going to dump the broccoli on. My broccoli is quite fine, so I may wait a second. So what am I doing with the broccoli? Oh, I'm putting it in another sheet. Well, you, you can just put it on the sheet with the um with the toasted sesame seeds. Well, except that that's really tiny. Okay. So I have a new sheet. I'm good. All right. Then we're going to drizzle on the two tablespoons of. Sesame oil. There it is. Sesame oil. Put it over the over the broccoli. broccoli. Sesame oil. And then the soy sauce over top of the broccoli. Nice. Now we're going to take our chopped ginger. That's going over top of the broccoli. Oh, nice. I like this dish because it's kind of got an Asian, everything's got kind of a little bit of an Asian flair, but not all out Asian. Good. I like that. Okay. All right, now we're gonna mix that up with our hands. Get that all. Make sure you mix it with love. Gotta mix it with love. <laughs> oh, everybody washed their hands before we started, right? I, I am OCD about washing my hands in the kitchen. Okay. Yeah, really, this day and age, right? Yep. All right. I'm wash my There's hands. a thing on Facebook about um, washing your hands, and you're supposed to sing a song while you wash your hands to make sure you wash them long enough. And it showed this, these really, really old-looking hands, and it says, what do you do with your favorite song? The song is by the Grateful Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, now we're gonna pop the broccoli into the oven with the potatoes. Nice. And we're gonna set a timer for 30 minutes. All right, I've had- Alexa, set a timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on- Wait, good question. What is your altitude? 56, 56 and change. Okay. Just trying to figure my timing and cooking because I'm 65. Oh, okay. How much so, do you add? Um, I'm just going to up to 455. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to switch the pork chop. So I'm going to head over to the stove. Um, like I said, if you don't have it, I think everybody's got a cast iron stove though, right? Or cast iron pan that they're using. Bless you. Okay. You can get yes. Okay, so now we're gonna take the two tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna drop it in the pan. Oh, that's already starting oh, to yeah. shimmer and be beautiful. All right. Can I ask you another question? How hot are you gonna get your pan? Do you want that hot, that pan screaming hot? because you want to sear these pork chops. The pork chops are only going to be in for about 10 minutes on each side. I'm going to turn on my vent. Maybe I'm not. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn my vent on too. And now we're going to take these pork chops and put them in. You hear that beautiful sizzle? No, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll do it over here. Try it. 
I might need a little more olive oil in my pan since my pan's a little bigger and I'm cooking a couple extra. Oh, that is perfect. Mm. So we throw a little more olive oil in here. So you're going to cook those for about four minutes on each side. Don't peek. Don't look at them. Just let them go for about four minutes. <laughs> in the meantime, we'll have a cocktail. What's everybody doing? I'm, I'm having a blast. I wish I'd done that. Like Wish I'd cooked last week. This is, a, you know, I like it because it's, um, you know, we're all quarantined in our house, and this is a fun way that we can all kind of cook and make a meal, and it's fun. Um, it's so much fun. I don't stick around for the cleaning. Huh? Well, I don't stick around for the cleaning. So no. I clean and I cook. <laughs> the cleaning fairies come in for that. Yeah, I did have a note in here that it's really helpful if you've got your dishwasher on. My dishwasher is full. <laughs> well, this is my full is about to be full. <laughs> how's, that, how's that ham going, Susie? You know, I, I'm letting my uh, uh, olive oil heat up. Your your stove might heat faster than mine. I turned it on um, a little while ago. Yeah. Oh, so you did? Okay. Oh, that actually care. so long to heat up? Yeah, that ham's probably going to brown quicker. And, the, and, that, and that's true. There, your ham's going to brown pretty quick. So it should be fine. Yeah, well, and it's already cooked, but I, yeah, I hope I don't have to turn First on my green volume. Yeah. And olive oil can get too hot. It no. can, and I, and I definitely think the next time we make this, I think we're going to change it. I think we want to go to a sapphire, sapphire oil or a ghee or something um, that has a higher smoke point. Because, yeah, this uh, olive oil does not have a high smoke point, as you know this. Yeah. And Ellen, I was thinking I, when we made the dry run last week on this on these recipes, um, this is this one is really kind of up your alley because it's relatively gluten free. Um, all oh, this food. recipe? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I besides mean, the soy sauce, it's completely gluten free. Gotta love it. Nice. Gotta love it. And I'll be expecting a cop. Sorry. I'll be expecting a copy of that uh, soy sauce recipe. Thank you. All right, I, I couldn't hear you. A copy of what? Of that soy sauce recipe. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'll send it to you. It's on my it's on my um blog. I'll send it to you. Okay, cool. Your blog? Let's talk more. You have a blog. He has a I have blog. a blog. A I'll gift. send it to you. Okay. I didn't know yeah. you had a blog. Yeah, it's 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 a cooking thing. It's it's um something that Dory gave me a couple years ago. Yeah, and I'm I'm active, and then I'm really not, and then I am, and then I'm really not. So okay. you know, yeah. Um, during quarantine, I've been a little more active. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We all wonder what's going to happen when quarantine's over. I know. <laughs> you know, will anyone be here from the cooking show? I don't I mean, know. Good Lord, we're all going to have to start showering again. I know. All right, so we are cruising at about 30 seconds to go, and then I'm going to flip the pork chop. Okay. And then we'll cook for another. And did everybody turn their broiler on? Their oven broiler? Oven broiler? Okay, I can do that. Okay. Well, but, but the other things are still in the oven? Pardon? The other things are still in the potatoes and the broccoli are still in the Yes, oven. I'm not using my toaster oven for the potatoes and the broccoli. Oh, that can't fit those in there. Okay, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I'll just stick them in the 425 oven. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All righty, so come on over and we will flip. Oh, that's pretty. Nice. <laughs> oh, that one in the middle right there. My children laugh at me because being from the South, Texas or whatever, and my parents, Alabama, we like to almost burn things. Yes. I love it. Hot dogs. 
hot dogs. Charred black. Oh, hot no dogs. other way. Charred. I love the charcoal flavor. Okay, I'm turning my oven off, my stove off. Okay. And you got your broiler on? I do. Okay. I have a bunch of fresh garlic. Did I forget something? Uh, no, we're not there yet. Okay. We're not there yet. We're gonna, uh, once we take the pork chops out of the oven, we're going to start making our sauce for the pork chops. Yum. Make sure the honey, the garlic. The rice vinegar, um, the butter. It's gonna be so good. The rest of it comes in. This is really tasty. Um, the other thing, I didn't think there was enough, but we're making six pork chops. And so, honestly, when I make this, I personally wanna double the sauce. I'm not doing it this time, but I like a little extra sauce. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we got two and a half minutes to go. Anybody need a pressure on their wine? Me? Need a pressure on your wine, Ellen? I'm good. Susie, how's your wine level? Good. Mm -hmm. I it fills. Me too. What are, <laughs> what are we drinking? Boxed wine. Flavor? It. You know what? Hang on. <laughs> A lovely Sauvignon Blanc from, from New Zealand. Uh, oh, it's Kirby Canyon right. Chardonnay. Chardonnay? I, oh, I love Chardonnays. I'm not a Sauvignon Blanc. I, I just can't do that. But I never I like bought, really and uh, except for back in the 80s, I bought box wine. And then 80s? I take the inside out. Yeah, 80, 80, late 80s. But I take the, the container out and blow it up or rinse get it rinsed because you can do that and blow it up and i would take it camping and that would be my pillow because you can oh my it. gosh that's a great idea i that love it fabulous idea another it's another camping thing. Thing. coffee coffee you get pantyhose get pantyhose and put your coffee grounds as much as you would have for the morning in the bottom of it clean pantyhose and then <laughs> A big knot that's about that big or whatever and then add more not add more and then you just cut each one off and drop it into your coffee I mean your wa boiling water oh wow I learned this it was not mine all right so we got about four minutes let's head on over to the pan and we're going to remove our pork four minutes I'm taking the pork out of the pan we're going to take the pork out of the pan. Oh, okay. We're going to reduce the heat to about medium. The pork is not going to... It's, it's getting there, but it's not completely done. This is lovely. This is a nice sear. Now, here's, what it now here's, the, here's the ham. So now we're going to add the butter. The pan. Can you see my ham? Norman, the oh, we are using soy butter. You were asking about substitution for using soy butter. Oh, okay. okay. So you put the butter in, you're going to scrape that fawn off the bottom of the pan. What is fawn left? What is fawn? Fawn is the nice, gnarly flavor bit stuck to the bottom of the pan. It's yummy. It's the yummy. Once your butter is melted, you're going to throw in your garlic until it's fragrant. I couldn't hear it was bubbling in my ear. What did we, did we say something? You put the garlic in and let it just get fragrant about 30 seconds. That garlic smelling good, everybody? Yeah, it's going. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to add the honey. Okay. Yeah. A different apparatus here. And how much honey is that again? That is a quarter of a cup of honey. 
going to add our honey. We're going to add our water. And we are going to add our vinegar. What's the last thing? I forgot to put garlic on. I don't either. I forgot to put garlic on something. So you know what we'll do? We're just going to throw that into the pan. Okay. Honey. The honey. The honey. The water. The water. And now we're just going to kind of let that bubble and reduce. Oh, it's louder, please. I'm sorry. My, my, I'm cooking loud. Okay, so you're going to pop that in there and you're going to let it, you're going to turn it up until it starts to bubble and then you're going to let it reduce. By how much? Uh, probably about, reduce reduced by about half. So it really gets nice and thick and you'll be able to tell that it's ready because you'll be able to like pull your spoon through the middle and it'll kind of stay to the side. It's kind of like Noah's. Moses. Who is it, Noah? Yeah. <laughs> like Moses party, you see. Thank you. She, she always tells me that she failed her perfect course. Well, evidently she failed her vac vacation Bible class course, too. It was a long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago. Okay, I'm reduced. You're reduced already? Yeah. Oh, my. I got to turn mine up then a little bit. Well, no, you don't because you know what? Am I going to put my pork chop in this? You are going to put your, your ham steak in there, and you're going to get it um, nice, and uh, you kind of flip it over, get the, get the sauce on both sides. Okay, I want to show oh, you my ham steak. I was trying to earlier. I'm sorry? Here's my ham steak. It's gorgeous. That's beautiful. You think? That's perfect. Yeah, yeah it's so good. pretty. Yeah. Looks like a big, fat piece of fish. <laughs> so am I putting the pork back in? Um, did your has your sauce reduced? Eh, close enough, yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna throw a little bit of I, I found some uh hatch green chili. Ooh. Um, yeah, some fresh hatch green chili. Hot are these your these are yours chilies or no? Not my chilies. These I got, but um I I may do some of my own chilies. I've yeah. got some on my uh, sales site right now. Oh my gosh, you should smell my studio. My studio smells like a cross between all that amazing blue cornmeal and these uh, hot green chili flakes. It's like a Mexican bonanza in my in my in my studio. Oh, that's tasty. Oh, that's tasty. I smell the vinegar, but the but the honey flavor is really coming through. Oh, you know what? Where did the roast vinegar come in? I missed that. Oh, that should be in here with your sauce, in this sauce. Okay. Throw, throw it in there, Susie. Throw it in, Susie. So I'm still reducing, but I'm getting there. All right. So now we're going to put your pork chop back in. You're just going to kind of swirl it around on one side, flip it on the other side. Do that with each piece. Swirl it around. Oh my goodness, that is delicious. Oh, so cute, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> That's my husband's intro. Oh, my timer just went off. Swirl that around. Flip it over. That's for you. Go for it. Okay, so now I just put pork love on the floor so Ricky's happy. Oh, Ricky's oh, a Ricky happy loves boy. You. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to take this amazing meal and we are going to put it in the broiler. Okay. Watch out, Ricky. Coming through. Our broiler is down low. There you go. Now we're just going to sear that. 
while that or not sear it we're just going to let it go in there for one to two minutes i just took a little bit longer i just took like three or four minutes for it to get real crispy on the edges so i'm actually going to keep mine in there for probably about four minutes and while that's happening we're going to check our potatoes and we're going to check our um bro broccoli see how that's doing Man, this looks delicious. My potatoes need to go a little bit longer. How about y'all? I see. So my broccoli's done. I'm going to pull that out, let it start cooling down. I'm going to let my potatoes go probably another, gosh, I probably need about another 10 minutes. Okay, I'm going to wait to, my broiler gets really hot. Yeah. So I'm going to wait to put my meat in, because my potatoes, I just tested them, are just like three quarters of the way through. Mine too. Mine too. How are yours, Ellen? Um, yeah, nothing's done. So I'm just, I've got it all in there together. Okay, so I should just grab a chair then and we'll just chat. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get a chair. I don't get a chair. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Did you put yours in the broiler? I my meat? No, I just put it in the 425 oven with the other stuff. Can I? Oh, well, I'd like to see yours, Kimberly. I'd like oh, to see your product that what's in your skillet. Oh, okay. Honey, are you able to disattach the um, camera? I can, I can get closer. Get closer. Yeah. Okay. Don't do that for me. Don't don't go don't do that for me. Ah, uh, screw you, Susie. It's done. We're doing it for you. <laughs> okay. So that's what it looks like in the pan. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Now we got it in the broiler. I have to be honest, I've never used this broiler before in this recipe. That's that's a lie. Oh I, well I, for cooking. For cooking, I guess I should. Yeah, we used to store the pizza stone and we store our pan. Right, right. <laughs> but yeah, I've just started I, using broilers in the last few years. I've never used them. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Boy. All right, Mine let's check in this. Check my broiler. How's everybody's um, ham steaks? And uh, you haven't put your ham steak in yet, right? Oh, I, yeah. I put my pork chops in a while ago. Oh, you did? Yeah, they gotta come clean. I forgot to turn my broiler on. So. Okay. All right. Well, I'm I'm close to you. We're good. Yeah, we're good. All right. My potatoes are pretty good. And my potatoes are so hard. I yeah. So there's something I'm about happy with my potatoes. Well, I I cut them up pretty small. Oh, they're doing okay. Yeah, they're they're. Oh, they're good. Yeah. I made my thick. <laughs> I say that to my mother every time I see her. My baby wanting me. Oh, is he an Australian Shepherd or she what is? is. It? Yeah, she, she's a standard Australian Shepherd, but she's only seventeen pounds. Oh, she's so sweet. She's watch this. Look at way. that face. Uh, and she acts just like a baby. Watch, watch this. I love you. All right, my chops are coming out of the oven. I don't know about y'all. Smell <laughs> that lick. Oh my goodness gracious! Look at that. That. Okay. What? Where's my camera? Where's my camera? Oh, there it is. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Can you see that? My broccoli is perfect. Oh my gosh. That is fantastic. I'm going to okay. spin it again. I, I washed my hands. Oh, you okay. Do I'm going to do this. Let's see if I can do it. A little bit longer. Yeah. There's the pour. Oh, my God. That's tough. And yeah. do this. Oh, Those, let's see. There's the potatoes. And where's the broccoli? I can't find it. It's right you the there. There's the broccoli. Beautiful. Gorgeous. I'm almost with you guys. I, I probably have just a minute or so left. Here's my broccoli. My broccoli. Oh, that's gorgeous. Right. Okay, then, let me see that again. I'm sorry. I looked at my. Oh, broccoli. damn it. Broccoli. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah. And then the potatoes are coming out. So you must have a giant toaster oven. It's pretty big. Yeah. Okay. And here we go with the potatoes. Gorgeous. Woo! 
All right, Susie. Yes. Susie, I just have to do this for you real quick. There's Ricky. <laughs> He's an albino beagle lab. Oh my gosh. He is the laziest creature God ever created. <laughs> and we got him for that reason because we use him as a therapy dog for my son who has autism. And uh -huh. when he gets upset, he puts Ricky in his lap and Ricky just calms him down because he just lays there and melts into his skin. That is so awesome. I yep. love that. I totally love that. <laughs> okay, so let me show you what I have. Yes, okay. I want to see. Let me turn the lights on. Um, I don't know if that's going to help at all. Um, let's see here. Oh, actually, that looks really good, Susie. Oh, that's beautiful. That's going to taste so good. Oh, yes, yeah, Susie. That looks so good. The ham good. and the honey, it's going to be perfect. Good. Well, thank you, Kimberly and Robert. Yes, ma'am. Now, like I said earlier, we we have chosen to pair pair this meal with uh, a Foxfire dry Riesling, um, and the reason for that is because the acidity is just a little bit higher in this wine, and we think it will pair nicely with the honey. You know, it'll cut through the honey and bring it back. You know, bring the fruity notes out. So, what you guys choose to pair with a Chardonnay would probably work work well. Um, I have uh, some I have Cabernet, but I'm drinking a I'm drinking a really tart um, Sauvignon Blanc, which I think is going to be fine. That would be, really That'd be well. great, sweet. I apologize. I can't turn my beeper off. What is it? I have an error. I'm. I'm I have a double oven, and so I was baking in one and broiling in the other, and it overheated. Oh. Uh, we have that, too. Ours does that. Yeah. I apologize. Uh, trying to keep it cool. So lady, that's all I have. It's, it's only, like, quarter to four here, so we're not going to eat. <laughs> yeah. So, no. We love you. <laughs> this is oh, so wait, 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 wait. Yeah. So, are we supposed to make a sauce after with the what what's left over? Oh, that was the sauce. I do remember. That was the sauce, yeah. <laughs> so that's why but that's a good point, Susie. That's kind of why I was saying I want to make more sauce next time because it seems to disappear. And I want a little bit right. more to put on like at the end. Yeah. 